guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a face mask review of the Skin Treats Unicorn. It is a peel off face mask. I'm absolutely worried about this one because we know what experience I went through with the last peel off face mask, and this is from B&M. Just saying. Um, yes, it does have glitter in this, of course. You will get 10 uses out of this tube, which is good. Fingers crossed, this is not going to be painful. Hmm. But anywho, we're just going to apply it. So today I have got 40 questions that I'm going to answer when, you know, as we wait for this to dry. So I'm just going to put that on here. Let's show you what it looks like. So it's a really nice bubblegum pink with quite a bit of glitter in there. Excuse me a minute. I'm just going to grab my mirror. I forgot to put that there. Really, really nice and cold, feels very refreshing. I'm going to put this on. Oh, it smells kind of candy-ish as well. I feel like it does. If you guys have tried this one, please do let me know down below. I'd love to know what you guys think of this face mask. So this is one of those where it dries. You just peel it off once it's dried. There's no time limit for it. I really love the smell of this. It smells a little bit like caramel. Hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so we're just going to slap this on. And then we're going to start answering these questions. What I will say is if you have any questions that I have not wrote down that you would like to know the answer to, please do comment them down below. And I'll... That'll be the start of a Q&A, I guess. Oh, this is stinging my eyes. Okay, so this is stinging my eyes a little bit. I may have just got it a bit too close to my eyes, most probably. I do get a bit giddy when applying face masks. Like, I, can I can even taste the fumes of this going on. And it reminds me of a hand sanitizer. Um, you know, those hand things that um, kills the germs on your hands. It smells a bit like that as well. Roxy's come in to say hello. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Oh, it's burning my eyes and the fumes are just shooting up my nose actually getting it on my eyelashes so I probably have gone a tad bit close to my eyes there so don't get it really close to your eyes guys I don't know what this white thing is here what is that is it getting on my nerves hmm Yeah, I, I don't know if I like the smell of this one now. The other thing I've noticed with this face mask is it is very, very watery as well. So it's not like that black one where it's really, really thick and so hard to get it out of the tube. So up to now, it's a nice thin one. I have all this gunk now on this paddle and I need to try and wipe that off. Hmm. Fun times, fun times. I don't have anything yet so I'll just plop it there. Somebody did actually ask me where did I get this from. Um, so I suppose this is going to be a 41 question. <laughs> I do have my book here with all questions wrote down so that's your page number one page number two we're going to get into that in a sec but anyway one of you women wanted to know where i got this from basically i got it in a set um the set came from home bargains and it was a clay set face mask and you got this with it so that's that um so now basically we're just going to wait for this to totally dry and while we do that we're going to crack on with some questions so like I say guys, if there's any questions that you want to know but I have not answered out of these 41 questions, then please do comment them down below and we will do a proper Q&A video. 
So I've just answered that question from that to get it from Home Bargains in a set with two different clay masks in there. One is a clay mask and one is a gel mask. Oh my god. Okay, so let's get started. How old am I? I am um, 35 years old. There we go. Which country am I from? I'm from the UK. Manchester area. I have no problem with telling you guys where we are from here. Um, where did why did I start YouTube? Basically, we all know that I have got anxiety and depression, and I can't go out on my own. So basically, I was sat here really, really bored one day watching YouTube videos, and I don't know. I just thought, why can't I do that? Just switch on a camera and just do what you got to do. So I did, and I first started doing hauls, of course, but I did nail art as well. Um, I'm trying to think, I did nail art, hauls, quite a lot of makeup hauls was going on at the beginning of this channel. Um, so yeah, I did stuff like that. Uh, pets. I have got one pet currently at the minute. Um, she is a girl and it's a chihuahua um, she's called Roxy and I think there is another question in here what's your pet's name so I've just answered that but yeah um, so yeah she's called Roxy she is one years old um, pets that I've currently had I've had a pure white Persian show cat golden eye um, he was called Leo. We've had we did have him since I was six years old, and he passed away when I was in my twenties. So he lasted a good long while. Our Leo did. Then I've had another dog, two other dogs that didn't last long. We gave those away to my sister. Well, we gave one away to my sister, and the other one went back to its owner because it kept threatening all the time for its owner. So we thought it'd be best that obviously we we gave him back to the owner so question number five single or taken I am actually single at the minute so I'm single but there has been a couple of men that I've been talking to and that is as far as it has gone we are just talking uh, so yeah number six are you hot well I could take that in two ways that question am I hot am I hot as in good looking I don't think so Am I hot as in hot and sweaty? No, not today. It's actually quite windy today, so it's not really spectacularly warm today. But the other day, oh my gosh, it was absolutely boiling the other day. Okay, so let's just take those two. I have to keep taking the questions off, otherwise I'll be repeating the questions. Are you rich? Well, I wouldn't say I'm rich, but I'm okay with money. So I'm not rich, but I'm good with the money. I'm okay. I'm stable. Coffee or tea? Now this is a hard one, coffee or tea. So I've just got this which is sticking. Okay, coffee or tea? Um, I normally have coffee, but I have coffee with milk, no sugar. With tea, I always like to have at least two sugars in my tea and I'll only have tea if I have a poorly tummy. But, because I'm not allowed sugar, so I don't have tea because I will not drink tea unless it's got sugar. So yeah, I've not drank tea for I don't know how long, so I drink coffee. Uh, let's cross those two off. Daddy or chips? Hmm, another hard one. Do you remember that advert in the UK? Daddy or chips? <laughs> and my mum always used to say to me, Daddy or chips? And I always used to go, chips. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just a silly question, isn't it, really? I don't know. So uh, anyway, Daddy or chips? Um, chips. <laughs> but I'm not allowed them. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Your dream vacation. So basically I've never ever been abroad, ever. I've never been on an aeroplane. 
I have, if I'm always looking down, I'm just crossing some things off. So yeah, I've never been on an aeroplane. I've never been on a cruise. I've never been on a ship. One of my main goals before I clog it, excuse the expression, but <laughs> it is what it is. I will go on a cruise eventually. I really, really want to go on a cruise. Um, yeah, but my favourite, well, my most wanted vacation that I really, really want to go on. My dream vacation is what I'm trying to say. Uh, oh, let's see. I would love to go to California. There's actually a couple. California, Florida, America all in general, basically. I love American people. So there's that. Uh, I'd love to go to Jamaica. I think that would be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, there's that. Next question is number 11. Who do you truly love? I truly love my parents, of course. I'm not in love with anybody at the minute. Um, there is an ex that I truly love. We nearly got married, for God's sake. Of course, I'm going to love him. Uh, but it's what it is. So there's that one. Question number 12. Last movie you watched? This is going to be a hard one because I actually haven't watched any movies for about a week I'd like to say so I'm trying to think here uh, there is one movie that I did watch last week I think that was on Saturday so I class that as my last movie and I'm just trying to think what it is called it's where they're on a right you might know it so it's where they're on a bus is it called I keep thinking of the hour run but it's not that anyway they are on a bus and the bus has got like a bomb on it and they can't go over a certain speed limit or it'll explode there's this man that keeps doing things with a bomb it's that and for my life I can't think what it's called but it's a freaking awesome film love it what sports number 13 what sports do you play I don't play any sports. Do I look like I play any sports? No. Um, but there are certain things that I do like to do. If I get invited to do it, I love my swimming. Swimming, I should have been a mermaid, I swear to God. Water, I absolutely love it. Oh my God, I can't wait for when we go on holiday because they've got like an outdoor splish splash and they've got an indoor pool with all slides, waves. Oh, I'm so excited. I love swimming. I also love there is a few i love tennis i like playing tennis i haven't played tennis for years but i do love it um snooker pool i love all that darts i love playing darts i'm no good at darts but pool i'll give you a good run for your money um netball love playing netball yeah okay so name of your pet we've already explained that she's called roxy and spencer uh, your real name, so on here, we, I'm called Star Sparkle. In real life, my name is Kimberly Spencer. Uh, broken bones, I've never ever broken a bone in all of my life. I've been actually really, really lucky in that way, where we have never ever broken a bone. If you have noticed, guys, this has started to bubble up. I don't know what it's doing there. oh my god it has gone super tight guys i'm just going to warn you right now that if this is going to be like that star one then the whole purpose of this video is going to stop when i peel it because i'm going to wash it off i'm not suffering again <laughs> i'm not suffering and this i'll give it away if it is okay so yeah i've never ever broken a bone in my body been very very lucky in that sort of way in life i have however pulled i think it's this arm out of socket three times when i was a baby it happens so bedtime i am normally in bed at ridiculous times it can vary for example last night i was in bed for whew, what time uh, about three o'clock that's my usual time that I go to bed, it's around about three to four. 
because I like to watch YouTube in bed. If I'm not watching YouTube, I'm creating videos. If I'm not doing that, then I'm thinking and writing down ideas and just sorting it all out. Uh, vacation, as I said, I don't go abroad. I've never ever been abroad, but we will do. I'm going to actually start doing some vlogs like that eventually in the future. But the holidays that we do do now are just in the UK. So I like to go to Butlins Skegness. That is one of my favourite holidays. It's absolutely fun in there. You know, it is for adults and kids, mainly for the kids. And I just love seeing all little kids and babbies running around with smiles on the faces. So excited. It's really, really good fun. So yeah, we've got a holiday coming up actually in June, of which I am going to be vlogging every day. And when I get home, I'm going to connect all the videos together and we're going to have one big holiday video. So it's going to be really, really fun. Impatient. Um, yeah, I am an impatient person. If I'm ordering something offline, I want it the next day. <laughs> I hate waiting. It's the same when I go to, example, like the doctors. I hate waiting in the reception area. Our doctors take the Mickey Wham, let me tell you. You go to there and you'd expect to be seen within probably the next 20 minutes, I'd say. That'd be a reasonable. Oh, no, no, no. Not in hours. You get seen like an hour, an hour and a half. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, I am very, very impatient. If somebody tells me that they're going to be coming to my house on a certain time, I expect them to be here on that time, not an hour later, because it really winds me up. But anyway, there is that. Question number 20. We're moving up quick. Dance or sing in the car? I love to do both. <laughs> it's quite, actually, it's quite funny in our car, because obviously my dad drives, and you have my mum in the passenger, I'm in the back. And we're all just singing away to like CDs. Oh my god, I'm not looking for this is going really tight. It feels like it's going more tighter than that black one did. Oh shoot. Okay, um, yeah, and we all just dance and have a little bit of a mess about. Um 21. Ask or answer stupid questions. Um, I am known for asking the odd stupid thing. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I am known for asking the stupid questions. Um, answering stupid questions, I have done that as well. Answer the stupid questions and then I think about it and I, I normally will say, why did you ask that stupid question? So yeah, there's that. Cartoons or anime, this is a really hard one for me. Even though I'm 35 years old, guys, I love cartoons. Can't get enough of it. Disney, I'm all up for Disney. I I'm here for it. That is one place I really, really want to go to is Disneyland. Oh my God, you would never get me home if I went there. Um, anime, I love anime. Yes, it's like anime to me is more like adult cartoons. I love it. Manga, all the way. I've got quite a few manga DVDs downstairs. Uh, question 23. Piercings and tattoos. Well, I've got no tattoos. Let's just get that one straight straight out of the book. No tattoos here. Not yet. Anyway, there is a few that I want. The tattoos that I want. Um, I really want my mum, dad on the wrists. Uh, with my brother's name on the same wrist as my dad. I want, like, a, um, little paw prints on my chest to represent Roxy. And I'll also have her name on there. So there is a few little things I want, if you guys know the game called The Sims and they have that little plump, like green diamond thing, I want that on the back of my neck, I'm going to get that eventually. Okay, question number 24, uh, uh, no, hold on, piercings, we've not done that one. So I do actually have quite a few piercings, I have my nose there, two ears there, I have this ear right here which I did myself, I have got my tongue done. I've got my lip. I uh, think that's about it for the piercings. Question number 24. Are you lazy? Uh, sometimes. I can be lazy sometimes. In my teenage years, oh my God, I was a typical teenager. Yeah, I was lazy. <laughs> um, I'm not lazy with housework. I'm very, very particular with that. But I can be lazy when it comes to moving my butt and doing something, I suppose. Question number 25, favourite movie? 
Oh, now that's a hard one. If we're talking about Disney, my favourite one is Beauty and the Beast. I can watch that over and over and over and over and over again in one day, probably ten times in one day I can watch that. On repeat, I love it. Um, Horror-wise, my favourite horror movie. Uh, ooh, that's a hard one. Favourite horror... I'm not even kidding, this is really tight. Okay, favourite horror movie. Oh, that is really hard. Hills of Eyes, I love stuff like that. Uh, romantic films. Um, romantic. Don't really have a favourite romantic one, to be honest. Uh, okay, question number 26, favourite scent. My favourite scent at the minute is i think it's this one linen in the air love this thing right there that smells gorgeous and that's like got like a linen stroke apple scent really really refreshing very, very nice uh coconut i love anything that smells like coconut um so yeah are you in debt no <laughs> i don't think so i will never ever let myself get in debt it is a dangerous game to play it can wreck your life it can make you homeless i'm not about that life question number 28 summer or winter i love both i love the summer who doesn't love the summer i mean come on now i love the sunbathing i love the swimming part i love all everything to do with, with summer love it winter um, I'd say I like summer more than winter, but I do like the winter. I love it when the snow falls and the snow is fresh on the ground. And when you walk on it, you get that crunch. It just sounds so delightful. Love it. Uh, question number 29. Do you use drugs? Hmm. Well, I don't use drugs to get high. So I don't smoke weed. I stopped smoking weed when I was a teenager. Um, but on other drugs, yes I do, I have drugs for my anxiety, I have drugs for my depression, I have drugs for my sciatica. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me just cross those two off so we're not going to get a finger. Right, religion. I am not Catholic. Uh, yeah, basically, don't have any religion. Siblings, I have, two si I have three sisters and a brother. One sister tragically died when she was a baby. My brother tragically died at 40. Um, yeah, I have siblings. Colour of my eyes is hazel. Um, my eyes are actually really cool eyes. So I have hazel when you normally look at them. But you, if you are on, fa on my Facebook, you'll notice that in some of my pictures, when the sun hits my eyes, they go into a blue colour. Um... I have never ever done anything to my photos to change the colour of my eyes. I've never ever in my life wore contacts, not yet anyway. But um, yeah, I've never ever tried the contacts, so yeah, my eyes just change colour. Talents. I am a singer, so yeah, I've been singing since I was six. Um, other talents. I can do the butterfly with my tongue. That. That's about it, I think. Um, question 34. Favourite cereal? Favourite cereal? I like Cocoa Pops. The chocolate Cocoa Pops are really nice, but of course I'm not allowed them anymore. Darn it. Uh, but I'm not a real big cereal fan, if I'm being honest. I do. The cereal that I like is so unhealthy for you, and I can't even have it now. But I used, one of my favourites used to be the Honey Nut cereal. So anyway, question 35, longest relationship. My longest relationship was 12 years. Um, very sad when it ended, but you got to move on. So there is that. Favourite number is number two. Any other number, it's a crowd for me. Um... <laughs> Favourite colour is electric blue. I like baby girl pink, black, red. I know black isn't really a colour, but whatever. Black, red, purple. Uh, that's about it. Virgin? I don't think so. 
Have you ever been pregnant? Yes, I have. A couple of times I've been pregnant. Very sadly lost all the babies. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not go into that. Question number 39. Why YouTube? I decided to do YouTube because it was more... Well... How can I explain it? Yeah, I... The, one of the reasons why I wanted to do YouTube was interaction okay yeah fine it's interaction with a camera but to me i feel like i'm talking to you guys which i obviously am but it made it a lot better it makes it a lot more better for me because i don't get out i don't get to meet new people i don't get to make friends because of my anxiety so yeah it's just one of them and the last question which is number 40 makeup or no makeup well today we're not wearing any makeup hey face mask but um, as for makeup, oh, I love my makeup. I have got this, which is full of lip liners, mascaras, eyeliners, the odd lipstick, mascaras. Did you say mascara? I don't know. Tweezers. Then I have brushes here, there, and everywhere. Palettes. Palettes. Just it goes on. This desk that we've got has got two huge drawers. It's packed of makeup, so I definitely say makeup. And that is it. That is our 40 questions done. We are going to now see if this is dry. So as I say, I repeat, if there is any questions at all that you wanted to know but was not written down there, please do leave them down below. Don't hesitate, leave them down below and I will be absolutely sure to get back to you guys. So this has kind of gone a little weird. I'm going to pull you forward so you can see. Look at that. It's gone really weird, like it's bubbled on my face. Feels super duper tight. Oh, sorry guys. It feels super duper tight in some places. I'm just going to start seeing if I can peel this off. <gasps> Four. This one is actually, it feels a lot tighter than the other one. I'm scared now. <gasps> mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say right now, this is even more worse than the black one. And the black one was a really thick, thick substance where this one is really watery actually. But as it's tightened, it's really gone so much more tighter. It's I can feel every bit of hair a lot worse than that black one. I don't know about this. This may be just getting washed off. I'm going to try though. We are going to try. We don't give up on this channel. We are not quitters. So... Oh, the chin area, guys. The chin. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so this was £1.99 for this. Terrible. Yeah, so I'm never buying a peel off face mask again from B&M. Not when I'm going to get tortured like this every time. Okay, so it seems to be coming off the nose okay. Not looking forward to the tip if you remember in the last video. <gasps> oh. It doesn't 
seem that bad actually. When you're doing it from the tip of the nose. I say that now. I know it seems okay. I don't know what the hell they make these out of for them to be this tight. I really don't know. At the minute, it's just the chin that's really, really sore with this. Hmm. So yeah, if you guys have tried this one, let me know down below. I know I said that before. I really do get interested in what you guys think of these face masks. Oh, the bitch. I'm going to go for it in a minute because this is getting really hard to get it off. Goodness, it just won't. You can't even get a grip on it. So you can pull it off. Very, very odd. Hmm. I think we're getting somewhere a little bit. Oh! Oh, that made my mouth water a bit, that one. <laughs> I thought I was going to throw up then. Okay. 
remember guys if you ever buy this and try it the same with the black one don't go slow just rip it because um yeah it doesn't hurt as much when you rip it still hurts but not as much Down the top. Oh, hell no, now that <gasps> is really bad. No, mm -mm. This is bad. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and wash this off. I can't handle the pain of this one. It is so much more bad than the black one. I will be back with you guys just in a sec. Back. Um, I don't know what to say. I really do not know what to say. That was some intense pain right there, guys. So I do have the star glitter one with me still. And I now have the unicorn. They are both by the same brand, Skin Treats My Arse, more like Skin Torture. Um, I honestly don't know what to say anymore about this brand. This brand is not getting another penny off me. So, I don't know. I was really, really, really hoping and praying that this one would have been a good one. But I'm not going to go through that torture every time I want to do a lovely face mask from B&M. So B&M, you need to change up your brand when it comes to these peel face masks. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that's been tortured by this brand. I don't know what to do. Should I take it back to the shop and ask for my £4 back? I mean, that's nearly £5 to be tortured. Hmm... I know I really love the packaging to this one, but I'm not going to go through that again. My face at the minute feels like it is on fire just taking this one off. Um, as I said twice in this video, I'm going to say it again. This one is a lot more thicker. This one is a lot more thinner. And this one does smell like hand... Hand... 
uh, gel. It smells like that, but with a twist of caramel, I feel like. Always, and it says here, always be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then be a unicorn. Well, I couldn't be a fucking unicorn through that. Sorry for the swearing, guys, but it's winding me up. That my face now feels like it's been burnt. Like, I'm not even kidding. I feel like my face has been burnt. Look at it. My cheeks are red. Anyway... I'm on the fence line at the minute. I don't know whether if I should take these two back, let them know that they are a bag of poo and I want my £4 back or pass them on to somebody else. But would I really want to pass these on to anybody else when they are so painful the way they are? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, I certainly don't want to bin them because they're full products and it's a shame to bin them. What would you guys do with these? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I should do. Should I take them back to the shop, ask for my money back? Pardon me. Inform them that they are a bag of muck, that they are a torture chamber. Or should I pass them on to somebody else and let them experience the hell? Of getting it off which I don't think I should I think that's a, bit, a little bit unfair I just don't know what to do with them I'm not gonna bin them because it's a waste of money and I don't like wasting money leave a comment down below what you think I should do right now I have some coconut and argan lotion here I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my skin um, and I think what I might do is put my eczema cream, my zero double base cream, I might put that in the fridge for half an hour or 20 minutes and apply that later. See, that feels nice and cool now on my face. So that oh, feels delightful. You do not even understand unless you have tried these, how lovely this cream is feeling right now on my face. Oh, God, it feels so good. It smells like coconut. Gorgeous. Okay, so what do I rate this one? <laughs> oh, well, it's got a lovely colour to it. Doesn't mean it's going to get a point for the colour. <laughs> it's got a nice colour to it. It's got glitter to it. It's unicorn. The unicorn glitter colour is everything that attracted me to this. Um, when I was buying this, I did not realise it was going to be the same brand as this one. Otherwise, I would have stayed the hell away. I have now learnt my lesson. From now on, when we go to B&M, if we do a peel off face mask, it will not be by this brand. I'm being deadly serious, guys. If you have balls, then by all means, go out there and get these. Um, yeah, I just... I just don't know. If you are on my Facebook and would like to try these, leave me a message and I will send you these for free. But, there's going to be a little bit of a but right now. If you do want these and you are on my Facebook, then um, I will be sending them after June. So, there's reasons for that, which I'm not going to go into. But... Yes, I will send them, send them to you after June. You can have both of them or you can have one of them, whichever one you want to try. Or if you want both, let me know and I'll send them you for absolute free. In private message, please don't put your addresses on my main wall because there's loads of people on there and they will probably take your address just to be an idiot. So yes, there's that. So the rating I'm going to give this, zero. Racing for this, zero. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, this one was super duper cute when it were on. It was a gorgeous black face mask with loads of, if I recall, did it have glitter in it? I know it's got loads of stars in this. And I don't know why, but I really do feel tempted to keep this one. But I don't know why I feel like that because it, pff, this made me squeal when I was taking this off. And this one I couldn't even get. As far as removing it all, I had to go wash it off. And it hurt washing it off, guys. 
and my face now still feels it has actually calmed down a lot but before I put that cream on it really felt like it was on fire so anyway there you go what should I do with these comment down below if you would like to get your hands on these please do um, send me a friend request on Facebook you can find me there Kimberly Spencer um, Yes, I will actually leave my Facebook link down in the description below if I remember to. My brain is like a sieve, old age, I tell you. Uh, but if you think I should take them back to the shop, get my money back or whatever, just comment it down below. I love to hear what you guys think. I won't be keeping this one. <laughs> I just, I, I just don't know. I'm not buying that brand ever again. I'm sorry, B and M. But you need to switch your brands up because you have some gorgeous stuff in that store and these just ain't one. So that's it. I'm leaving it there now because I'm winding myself up. I really, really wanted both of these to work really, but I was super, super excited for this. I honestly had high hopes when I saw it coming out of the tube with it being nice and nice and thin, thin, a thin face mask basically. Not like that other one that was like freaking tar, if you remember. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to leave it there now. Guys, if you haven't seen the video to this one, then I'll also link this down below in the description. I'll have to write all of this down, otherwise I'm going to forget. Because my mind is like a bloody sieve. So, we do have more face masks coming. I'm just going to jot these down right now. So, what do we want? Uh, face mask. Link. That's the star glitter. Beautiful. Like I said, it was a lovely one, that, but <laughs> it, just don't be deceived. Facebook link. And no, I'm not going to remove this part out of the video of me jotting down my little things. Why? Because I can't be arsed. It's late. And I am hungry. I have had two slim fasts today. That is all I've had to, to I was going to say, eat. Well, you don't eat a slim fast. You drink it. Oh, hangry. That's what I am right now. Hangry. And this has just set me off today. So that is it, guys. If you do take these off my hands, a little bit of a tip. Make sure you do have a lovely lotion to put on your face. in sticking in the fridge. Good tip. I'm now going to leave it there, girl. I'm now going to leave it there, guys. We do have more face masks. A lot more funner ones that are not going to be painful. We have got another unicorn. Mm, avocado. Don't you just love avocados? Oh, God, I love them. Um, alpaca and a leper. So I'm going to leave it there now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications. Please do leave your comments down below on what you think we should do with this. I know I keep saying it. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. And we'll leave it there now. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.